What is up everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, I have a couple of things that we're going to be talking about. One player that the Lions have added to the practice squad, and also, maybe our next head coach. Eh, probably not. Let's get into it. We're going to be talking about two people in today's video. One is the first the player that the Detroit Lions have added to the practice squad. Now, they have released Anthony Pittman from the practice squad. Yesterday, we talked about how they moved the linebacker up from their practice squad and put him in the active roster. We should see him this Sunday. That's going to be awesome. Jason, I hope you go and ball out. We talked about him. If you guys want to know about that, check out yesterday's video. There will probably be a little like video thing at the end of this one. Also, the Detroit Lions brought in a player to the practice squad today, and that is a tight end, Cole Herdman. Now, keep an eye out for... Cole Herdman here because as we know T. Jackson is now on IR so we're going to be looking at Jesse James we have brought back Isaac Nauta and Logan Thomas as our three tight ends but in case of anything else happens this year we know now we have Cole Herdman on the practice squad and it's not unlike the Lions to bring up a practice squad player and put him in the active roster we've seen it multiple times this year we've seen them have success so keep an eye out for this guy this is not again you have to keep an eye on these guys because at this point we've seen the Lions these guys step up and play really well now you're probably asking yourself what are you talking about about a new head coach okay he didn't you tell us Matt Patricia is not going anywhere. I did tell you that. And it looks like he's not going anywhere, okay? They said in 2020 that was a report that he's coming back. So I don't think this is going to happen. I really don't. But odds did come out today on where Ron Rivera could end up. I know some people would probably like Ron Rivera. Some people don't. I get it. Uh, one thing that I do like about him is he is kind of proven, right? He has proven that he can win. He had a 15-1 season. He took the Panthers to the Super Bowl that year. That year was insane, okay? Obviously, Lions have never done that in a season. I would love for them to. One loss? That's impressive. That's super impressive. He was five Fired. Right now, the Carolina Panthers sit at five and seven. So you're probably thinking to yourself, oh yeah, you know they fired him. We don't want him. They're gonna fire him. Well, five and seven is better than we're doing, but obviously interesting stuff. Look, I got into before. I don't really want to get into that in a second. But I just wanted to bring it up that right now the Lions sit at the sixth highest odds to land Ron Rivera as their next head coach for 2020. There's a good chance he's gonna have a job by 2020. I don't see it going any further than that. The odds show that the Giants have the highest odds, which makes a lot of sense. You're gonna see a lot of these teams have coaches on the hot seat. The Jaguars, the Browns. That one's kind of surprising. I'd be surprised if they fire Freddie Kitchens. I wouldn't do it personally. I don't think he's done a bad job, but I also haven't watched all the Browns games, so I don't know exactly. Uh, Redskins are on here. Then you have the Falcons, then us, the Lions, then the Chargers, the Eagles, and the Cowboys. That'd be weird if went to the Cowboys. Now, I do like Ron Rivera to the point that he has proven, okay, that would be something that the Lions would automatically gain if they brought him in. Again, it doesn't look like Matt Church is going anywhere for 2020, and they have said reports that he will come back for 2020, and we know Ron Rivera will be gone before 2020. I just wanted to bring this up because I know it is kind of an interesting topic right now. Again, I'm not saying this is going to happen. I really don't I really don't think this is going to happen. I don't see Matt Patricia going anywhere. I think he's going to be here for 2020. But like I said, he was an automatic winner. You're getting in a guy that's proven himself. He's won before. He had a 76-63 and one record uh, with the Carolina Panthers. He came in in 2011, I believe. He was a defensive coordinator twice before he became the head coach of the Carolina Panthers. So he's had some success. Obviously, 13 games over 500, not too bad, and a Super Bowl appearance. Lions have never had that. So that's two things that you're automatically adding if you get Ron Rivera. He was a defense coordinator, and obviously our defense is struggling. So if you want to need another defensive mind, maybe that makes sense. Now, I know there's other guys out there. People are looking at the 49ers defense coordinator. There's a lot of guys. But again, when it comes down to it, I don't see the Lions moving on for Patricia for 2020. And I think by 2020, without a doubt, Ron Rivera is going to end up somewhere. Where will he end up? That's a good question. I can see him with the Giants. You know, you never know. I can see the Giants doing that. That'd be interesting. Cowboys, that would be kind of crazy. It happened, you know? never know okay I just don't mean everything so we'll see what happens I did want to talk about that because really I want to hear your thoughts comments below or would you want Ron Rivera as their next head coach okay the chances are fair he's very slim because they have said that Matt Patricia is coming back but would you even want him as a coach that's what we're talking about here and again Cole Herdman is now in the Lions practice squad now Right now, I probably will do a power rankings video. I was going to have my own power rankings. I went through. I made my top 32 power rankings. If you guys want to see it, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, thank you, Bob, for watching. Let me hear your video ideas, and I'm out.